All right, welcome back in Pesky Pole YouTube channel, and we are in the 1998 Boston Red Sox Dynasty, episode two, episode one. We kind of took care of some business. We locked up Mo Vaughn long term, maybe a bad decision, maybe a good one. We locked up locked up Pedro Martinez long term, a good decision. John Valentin, Tom Gordon. Um, so we we kind of locked up the, the the core of the team. Uh, for a run here, hopefully that will take us uh, past the Yankees and into some World Series titles. So opening day in 98, you can take a look there. The Red Sox do not play today, but we're going to we're going to play a game um, in a second to we'll play the whole game. Uh, let's go ahead and just kind of simulate this day here and see what happens uh, on Tuesday, March 31st. And um, we're going to get the Pedro's first start in a second. As it loads up right here for the second day of the season. The Red Sox start off with three series in the West Coast trip. Oakland, uh, Anaheim, and Seattle. So let's kind of check back yesterday what happened um, in the in the league. 98 looks like Max had a good day right there against the Brew Crew. As it loads up right here. Schilling pitched as well for the Phillies. Let's take a look here. So, kind of some scores around there. Look at Kansas City uh, over Baltimore. Uh, Jose Rosado, pretty big day. Maddox for the big day. Um, you can look at the scores down here. Only the Yankees play. Who do they play? The Cubbies lose to the Marlins. No home runs from Sheffield. Or um, Sheffield Sosa. Got my steroid guys mixed up. Cardinals uh, lose two to one. No homers from McGuire. Barry Bonds goes deep, and a nine to two loss. And there's Colorado there. So let's go to um, opening day for the Red Sox now. And this is Pedro Martinez's first start as a member of the Red Sox. Comes on the West Coast, and we're gonna play this game out. And we're gonna start off in 3D mode, um, and uh, which which is good. But I prefer webcast mode, and I'm going to do that for the like the last part of the game. And I'll tell you why. Um, when a new game comes out for Art of the Park Baseball, we're going to do, uh, you know, check out the 3D mode. It's supposed to be improved, and, um, and I'm sure it will be, but I really like the webcast mode because it just, it, it, it leads more to your imagination. And my imagination is much better when I'm playing a game than what the graphics show me in 3D mode, um, unless it's like MLB The Show. And so I, I loved this game back 10 years ago when it didn't have a 3D mode. So I play it and I'll play it here for the video, but in a lot more videos, you're gonna see me more in webcast mode than, than this one. So, um, and, I'll, and I'll explain why too. So let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna play out this game here. We're probably gonna play out Pedro's first start in Fenway Park. And Pedro's first start against the Yankees and his first start in the Yankee Stadium. We'll probably do that. And that will lead us through a lot of the season. And then um, if we're in a pennant race, we'll play some big games there as well. And we'll check in with what's going on. And if there's trades or um, big moves I'm making, we'll, we'll make decisions there. So that's how we'll kind of do things this dynasty. We have a Braves dynasty we, we got going on right now, 1990 Braves. And we got season replays using other games as well. So... Oakland Coliseum, here's the lineup. Darren Lewis leading off, playing center field. Darren Lewis, a great defensive center fielder. Um, uh, one of my one of my favorite Red Sox who, who's been forgotten. Darren Bragg in right field, um, underrated ball player for the Red Sox. And, of course, Big Mo Vaughn at first base with a big contract now. He, he's here for a long time. Nomar garcia Perra in his second year. Um, and, and one of the reasons why we're doing this dynasty is for Nomar. I mean... Uh, Nomar might be my favorite Red Sox player of all time. And uh, the fact that he had such a great career and it kind of got, you know, whatever. Man, he, he just kind of lost it quick, the injury to the wrist. And he's not in the Hall of Fame. With Jeter going in the Hall of Fame this year, it really kind of hit home how sad things happened for Nomar. Because Nomar um, was unreal. Man, his peak season is unreal. So we're going to try to get Nomar in the Hall of Fame um, and get a ring. I know he got a ring with the Red Sox. Technically, 04, they they won him a ring. Uh, we're gonna try to get Mo Vaughn in the Hall of Fame to get a ring. Um, 
along with Pedro, of course, and all that stuff. So there's no more shortstop. We got Reggie Jefferson at DH, underrated hitter right there at DH. Jim Leyritz at catcher. I am trying to trade Jim Leyritz. I have him in the trading block. Um, I, I just don't like him. I don't need him, and I don't like him. I just, he's a Yankee. He's, he's not a good dude. But he's on there, and he's in the trading block right now. And I've got rules for trading blocks, too. I could just shop him around right now, but I'm trying to be realistic. So, um, you know, if he gets brought up in trade talks, if there's a guy on the on the um, trade block that I try to go after and they want Leyritz, he's gone. If someone comes to me with a trade offer for Leyritz, he's gone. Um, so, and then, of course, uh, the trading deadline, I can shop him for, these are my rules, I do, Okay. I can shop him for um, for a couple days for the trading deadline and see if I can get some for him. So he'll be gone definitely by the trading deadline. If I'm get, I can get him done beforehand. We got Scott Hatterberg backing him up and a guy named Jason Veritek in AAA. So we don't need him, and um, we can use his salary relief as well. So um, O'Leary in left field. O'Leary is a free agent in the year. Have not signed him yet. I don't think I'm going to sign him um, just because I've got Trot Nixon coming up and I've got Darren Bragg under contract for a couple of years. So... I like Troy, but he may have to go. And John Valentin, who we got locked up for a while. Uh, Mike Benjamin at second base um, gets a start there. Um, we'll see how that goes. So here's the A's lineup. Ricky Henderson leading off and DHing. You got a young Giambi. Mark Bellhorn. Love me some Mark Bellhorn. Um, and look at this right here. Rob DeBoer um, is getting the start at catcher for the Oakland A's. Um, DeBoer was a, a college teammate of mine. A long time ago, football, University of South Carolina, and played baseball. And so, out of the park baseball is giving him a shot in the major leagues. I don't think he actually played. Did he get to the major leagues in real life? I should know that, and I don't. But um, let's take a look at his real stats. I don't think he got there. He did not. So, um, this is Rob DeBoer's de debut as well. So, pretty cool there. Um, I'm going to have to... Pretty interesting stuff for Game Pass. So here we go. Let's go ahead and start this game. We're gonna go. We'll go 3D mode um, for now. And um, I'm gonna do some options here. I gotta adjust some some things there. Red Sox big advantage in this game right here. The A's are not very good back in '98. Um, this is kind of pre Billy Bean. I think Billy Bean took over uh, the next year or in 2000. Um, so we'll have, to, we'll have to kind of judge that in a little while. So here it is. I mean, it's, it's a beautiful look, 3D view. It really is. I mean, I, I do love the ballpark look to it and everything. It's just that some of the movements are a little bit funky. And, you know, I, I play 3D mode for a while and I'll get tired of it and go back to webcast modes. We'll see. So there we go. We've got, um, day game. It's, um, 105 PM on the West coast. Big crowd. Kenny Rogers, the gambler is out there today and he'll face Darren Lewis to lead things off. Let's see what we can do here. D Lou at the plate. Let's see if we can get Pedro some runs. There's the pitch. And a ground ball and it gets through there. I don't sure there's an error or not. Let's see here. It's past the shortstop. Looks like it got in the hole there. And so D Lou is on. Um, so Lewis has got pretty good speed there. Kenny Rogers is pretty good at holding the runner. So we're not going to, I might go ahead and do a little hit and run here. Let's do a little hit and run with Darren Bragg. Put some guys in motion. A fly ball, deep center field, and it's going to drop in this here. That's what I mean, the 3D mode. Like that right there is going to be a double. It looks like he dropped the ball, but he didn't. And, and if you're playing, um, it carries at the wall. So it didn't like it carry him off the wall. So that's, you know, hopefully they'll fix this in the new game. Um, but that's why I don't like playing in the, in the 3D mode because that right there, if I read that in the screen, you know, and, and in webcast mode, they hit one off the wall. I can kind of picture that here. It makes me feel like, well, did he really hit up the wall? What did he do? So anyway, it's a double. So Darren Bragg doubles in a run and uh, it's one nothing and uh, no outs yet. And a good start to the 98 season. And here comes big Mo Vaughn. Mo Vaughn, underrated hitter in Red Sox history. Um, kind of forgotten about David Ortiz, you know, coming along and Manny. They forgot about big Mo, 95, 1995 MVP. And um, his last year at Boston, 98, but not for us. And here's a base hit by big Mo. He can hit. He can hit. And uh, we're going to go ahead and, and um, send. And he scores. So right there, so he didn't pick up that either. 
So we're, we're gonna slip. We're gonna slip to um, webcast mode in a second because uh, it's annoying me already. So um, here's Nomar. I'm gonna do it right now. I'm sorry. I just like the 3D mode. I, I just don't have as much fun playing it. I just don't. So we're gonna go to classic webcast view. If you haven't played this before, uh, it's a cool way to play. So there it goes. Um, so it looks like. Um, I just like the screen better. I like the play-by-play -play better. Um, and it's just it's just a, it's a better it's a better game I think. And um, even if they fix 3D and make it great, I still will probably play this way anyway. So here we go. We got Nomar up. There's two. It's two zip right now. Uh, nobody out. Mo Vaughn at first base. And here is um, Nomi, as we call him, at the plate. 1-1 one, one pitch. Line drive. It's a base hit again. So we're hitting Kenny Rogers hard. Hitting him hard. First and second now. Nobody out. Reggie Jefferson up at the plate. And he strikes out. So Kenny Rogers finally gets an out right there. Now I'll bring up Jim Layritz. I want to trade you badly at the plate. And it looks like... Um, a balk is called. Is Ken Kaiser behind the plate? I think Ken Kaiser behind the plate. Second and third. Now a one out now. So Leiritz can do some damage here. Ground ball. And um, that's going to score a run. So ground ball to Kurt Abbott at second base. Uh, Vaughn comes home. No more goes to third. So two outs. It's 3 nothing. And here is Troy O'Leary. And that's going to be a wild pitch. Or a pass ball past the bore, and it's now four nothing Red Sox on four hits, and now they're going to walk Tory Lear. So Kenny Rogers, um, a good pitcher, is struggling here opening day, and here is John Valentin, the eighth hitter to come to the plate here in the first inning, and he's going to be out there. He grounds on the magnet at third base with a GMB. So it's four nothing. So Pedro. Will take the mound with a four nothing lead in his Red Sox debut, and he will face a legend, Ricky Henderson, who is DHing. Let's see what Pedro does with him here. And there's a deep fly ball, and Darren Lewis makes the catch. So Ricky Henderson almost slot up the game with a home run. He's done that a few times in his career, just a few. Here is Jason McDonald at the plate. Hard ground ball. It's a base hit. So a base hit to the left side. And McDonald is on now for Matt Stairs. Who's got some Red Sox ties, of course. 3-2 pitch. And a strike three. And it throws him out. So Jim Leiritz, a strikeout throwout to end the inning there. And it's still 4-0 Red Sox. We go to top of two. And Mike Benjamin at the plate. Benjamin drives one deep, and McDonald is there to make the catch. One away. And top of the order now for Darren Lewis, who singled his first time up. And he's a ground baller shortstop, and Mark Bellhorn cannot get there, and that'll be an error. Bellhorn playing shortstop. Not a great defender. He played second base for most of his career. So Lewis is on now with that. So we're going to try a little hit and run again. Uh, Bragg doubled last time and brought Lewis home on a hit and run. Here is Darren Bragg. Grounded sharply. And they're going to get Bragg out, but the hit and run uh, keeps out of, out of double play. So uh, two away, and here is Big Mo Vaughn, one for one in the day. He's got an RBI, a run scored. And a base hit for Mo again and a 3 0 pitch, and they're going to hold up Lewis at third base. I'm not sure why Darren Lewis not scoring on that. Uh, must not have got a, got a good jump. So, first and third for Nomar. Nomar is one for one as well. And Nomar pops it up. And Matt Stairs gets there, and the Red Sox do not score any. So, 4 0, bottom two. Here is Jason Giambi to face. Pedro Martinez and a pop fly and Darren Lewis makes the catch so one away for Ben Grieve at the plate and a ground ball to Mike Benjamin and there are two away so Pedro only one strikeout so far but he's uh, getting out so here's Bellhorn and Bellhorn is caught looking at a fastball and that is three away. And we go to the top of the third. Four nothing Red Sox. Here is Reggie Jefferson at the plate. 
The 3 0 pitch to Reggie, and he walks on four pitches. And here is Jim Leyritz now. He's got an RBI today. And that gets past the second baseman. A base hit. It'll be first and second for the Red Sox now for Troy O'Leary. Still nobody out. Kenny Rogers struggling again. Fly ball to Ben Grieve. So one away. And here is John Valentin at the plate. And Valentin grounds out to the second baseman. Double play. So 5-4-3 uh, double play to end the inning. The Red Sox strand a pair. And we go to the bottom of the third now. 4 nothing Red Sox. Here is Kurt Abbott to face Pedro. And it pops him up. Valentin is intimate to catch. One away. And here is Dave Magadan. Line drive. And there's a base hit for Dave Magadan. Dave Magadan, a very good hitter. And now it's Rob DeBoer, his first Major League bat. The Gamecock product at the plate. And base hit. So Rob DeBoer in his first ever at bat singles. And it's first and second now. With one out. And here is Ricky Henderson to plate. And Henderson has caught looking. Two away for Jason McDonald's. The one for one today. One of three A's hits off of uh, Pedro. And there's a ground ball. And it gets past Nomar. Magadan's coming home. The throw is safe. And the A's are on the board. There's now four to one for Matt Stairs with two outs. And that one's gone. Matt Stairs has just tied the ball game up. So it's 4-4. Four to four. Pedro was cruising along and suddenly this game has turned a four-run third inning and Giambi will come up next. Pedro is human after all. Here is Giambi. And that's a base hit. Here is Ben Grieve. A tough inning for Pedro. And a fly ball to Lewis to finally end it. Four runs on five hits for the A's in that inning. So top of the four, it's a brand new ball game. Four to four. And here is Mike Benjamin. And Benjamin goes deep. And Ben Grieve makes the catch. Here's Darren Lewis. And Lewis is going to get a base hit there. He'll hold it first. So Darren Lewis, his second hit of the game. And there's one away. We're going to do the hit and run again. We like hit and run with Darren Bragg. We have him the two hole for that reason. We would steal, um, steal him right now. But Kenny Rogers is pretty good to hold. I'm not sure what DeBoer can do. What is DeBoer's catcher rating real quick? He's going to have a pretty, pretty good arm. So we're not going to do that. We'll do a little hit and run here. And get the guys in motion for Bragg. He's one for two with a double. And there's a base hit. And because Lewis is running, he'll get the third easily. So first and third, one out. Here's Big Mo. He's two for two in a day. 2-1 pitch coming. And oh boy, Kenny Rogers picks off. Darren Bragg um, and Bragg was leaning Kenny Rogers with a great hold move great pickoff move and got him. So now it's two away for Big Mo Vaughn and Vaughn singles so a run will score and the Red Sox are back on top it's five to four and uh, Vaughn now three for three and looks like Kenny Rogers is uh, hurt so Rogers is going to be taken out of the game here. That didn't pitch great anyway. And they'll bring in Jay Witasik who will come in. He'll make his first appearance of the year, obviously. It's the first game of the year. So here's Nomar with a guy on base. And Nomar, ground ball to Giambi. And he'll be put away there. But the Red Sox are back on top five to four now as Pedro gets back to the mound. 54 pitches. Here in the bottom of the fourth inning, here's Mark Bellhorn. 
And ground ball to move on. He's got it. One away. I'll bring up Kurt Abbott. Abbott fly ball. And Darren Bragg has it in right field. So two away. Two up, two down. Here's Magadan. And a ground ball to Benjamin. And an easy inning for Pedro. Just what he needed. Red Sox lead 5-4. Top of the fifth. Here is Reggie Jefferson. And Jefferson hits it hard, and Ben Grieve makes the catch. And here is Jim Lairitz, one for two today with an RBI. And Lairitz puts it into the corner, in the right field corner. He will have himself a double. So Lairitz now two for three. Maybe his trade value is going up right now. I'm still going to trade him. But uh, it's good that he's playing well. We make it more easy to, to trade him, hopefully. Here's Seaman. So here's Troy O'Leary. And O'Leary singles. And it looks like uh, Lavers will score. He beat the tag at home. And the Red Sox now lead 6-4. to four. So here is Valentin. And Valentin with a base hit. So Valentin with a double, and O'Leary will hold at third. It's now 6-4. to four. The Red Sox have 12 hits in this game. We're in the top of the fifth inning right now. Jay Wittasek is getting beat up pretty bad. Here's Benjamin. And ground ball. Um, Bell, um, sorry, Abbott. Was it Bellhorn that had it? I didn't see that again. Let me go back here and look. Uh, Bellhorn makes the play. O'Leary scores. Enfield was back. 7-4 to four now. Two outs. Darren Lewis, who is two for three today, looking for his first RBI of the season. He strikes out looking. So the Red Sox get two more, have a three-run lead now for Pedro. We go to the middle of the fifth. Here's Rob DeBoer, who's one for one. He doubled his first time up. And a ground ball there to Valentin, one away for Ricky Henderson, who's 0 for two, trying to keep him off the base paths. Fly ball, and O'Leary has it. So two away for Jason McDonald. Ground ball, and it's going to be a base hit. So McDonald shoots one through the infield. He is on with two outs. And here's Matt Stairs. And Stairs is a three-run home where his last time up to tie the game at four. He's got some power, folks. And a slow, bouncing ball to Pedro. Pedro's got it. And the inning is over. So we go to the top of the six. Seven to four Red Sox. Jay Wittasek still in the ball game. Darren Bragg will lead things off. He's two for three today with an RBI. And a fly ball, center field. McDonald has it for the catch. One down. Here's Big Mo. Three for three today. Two RBIs. They have not figured out how to get Big Mo up. Big Mo out. And that one's hit hard. And that one's gone. That one is gone. A 353-foot shot by Big Mo. That went to right field. And Mo Vaughn is having himself quite the day, a day after signing that long-term contract to keep him in Boston for his career. He is responding in kind. 8-4 to four Red Sox. Here comes Nomar. New pitcher in for the A's, T.J. Matthews. And Nomar flies up to the field. So two away for Richard Jefferson, who is 0 for 2 in the day. Line drive, and McDonald pulls it in. The Red Sox end the inning to get one more in the Mo Vaughn solo shot. Bottom of the six, 8 to 4. Here's Jason Giambi. Giambi on the day is 1 for 2. 3-2 pitch, and Giambi walks. That's Pedro's first walk of the game. Only struck out three, so Pedro has not been his sharp self in this one. Opening day start, a little bit a little bit rusty, maybe. Not firing in all cylinders. And a fly ball, Darren Bragg has it, so one away. And here is Mark Bellhorn. Pedro at 80 pitches right now, so he's got a little room here to go deeper in this ball game if he keeps it up. And there's a fly ball, and Bragg has it. So two away for Kurt Abbott. 
And strikeout there. So Pedro with his four strikeout to end the inning. We go to the top of the seventh. It's Red Sox eight, Oakland four. And here's Jim Leyritz, who's had quite a day. Two for three with an RBI. He'll face TJ Matthews. And it flies out to Jason McDonald, one away. Here is O'Leary, who was one for two with an RBI. And there's a fly ball with a grieve. And that's two away. So this game moving along a little bit now after all the offense early on. Here is Valentin. And he strikes out. So we go for the stretch. It'll be Magadan. It'll be Rob DeBoer. And then Ricky Henderson. Pedro at 86 pitches. He's gone six innings. Seven hits, four in runs. He's walked one. He struck out four. And here is Magadan to start the bottom of the seventh inning. Here's a fly ball, and Darren Lewis has it, one away. And here's Rob DeBoer, one for two in the day. And he goes down swinging, so Pedro is struck at number five. He'll now face Ricky Henson, top of the order. And fly ball, right field, and Darren Bragg makes a nice little catch down there in right field. So three up, three down. We go to the top of the eighth. It'll be Benjamin, Lewis, and Bragg to face T.J. Matthews, the A's third pitcher of the day. And it'll be an infield single for Mike Benjamin. Mag to make the stop, but he couldn't make the throw. So Benjamin's on. And here is Darren Lewis now to play. Darren is two for four today. Two singles. There's a fly ball. McDonald has it. One away. Here is a Bragg now. One out for Bragg. He's two for four in the RBI. And he lines with the McDonald's. So here comes Big Mo. Mo is four for four in the day. He's got a homer. He's got three RBIs. They have not got him out yet. He's got a man on first. Let's see what Mo can do here. And Mo strikes out swinging. So they finally find a way to get Mo Vaughn out. He's now four for five in the day. But it's eight to four Red Sox. On bottom of the eighth inning, the A's down their last six outs here. Page wrote 99 pitches. We'll see how far he can go. And he strikes out McDonald. Strike number six for Pedro. Here is Matt Stairs. Hit the big three-run home run off Pedro earlier in the game. And he flies out there to O'Leary. Two away. Here's Giambi. 3-1 pitch. And Lewis makes the catch. So there it is. No score in that inning there. 8-4, to four, Red Sox lead, top of the ninth. Here's Nomar to face T.J. Matthews and Jefferson and Jim Leyritz. And Nomar hits that one, drops in, will go to the wall. It'll be a double, so Nomar with an easy double there. That's his second hit of the day. He's 2 for 5. So here is Jefferson, and he'll face new pitcher Billy Taylor will come in. And Taylor gets up a single. And we send Nomar home. Let's send Nomar home. And Nomar comes home. He'll score. It is 9-4 Red Sox now. They kind of add on. Taylor is the ace fourth pitcher of the night. So here is Leyritz. Leyritz. And there's a base hit for Leyritz. We'll hold up the runner there. So Leyritz now is 3 for 5. Opening day. So here's O'Leary. The Red Sox bats are alive here opening day. And there is a home run by Troy O'Leary. That is a three-run shot. It just stayed fair. 346-foot homer. A kind of a cheap one, but it'll count for three runs. And the Red Sox lead now 12-4. to four. And that will be it for T.J. Matthews. They'll bring in now Mike Mulder. This is the fifth ace pitcher. Of course, Kenny Rogers left due to injury. And Moeller will come in now. And he'll face Valentin, Benjamin, and Darren Lewis. Still nobody out. Four runs in in the inning for the Red Sox. It is 12-4. And Valentin walks. Here's Benjamin. And they get the lead runner there. No double play, so Benjamin will be at first. Valentin was was uh, forced out. And here's Darren Lewis, top of the order. Lewis, two for five today. Ground ball up the middle, and it's me in the center field. 
And it'll be first and second now, a one out for Darren Bragg. Lurking is Mo Vaughn. And a base hit for Bragg over the, over the glove of Bellhorn. And Benjamin's the third, loser to second. Want to score anybody here? We're going to kind of hold these guys up a little bit. Uh, Mo Vaughn coming up with a base is loaded, one out. Facing the lefty is four for five. A homer and three RBIs. Can you have a five hit opening day? Let's take a look. And a base hit for Mo Vaughn. I'm going to hold these guys up a little bit. So 13 to 4 now. And here is Nomar. A five hit day for Mo Vaughn. And that is a forced notable play. They could not get Nomar down there in the line. But he does make it out. But it does run does score. Making it 14 to 4. And Reggie strikes out. So that's it. Fourth and the four. Pedro will come back out there for the ninth. We'll see what he can do. 112 pitches. And he strikes out Shane Mack. Pinch hitting. That's his seventh strikeout. Here's Bellhorn. Fly ball. Brad's got two away. And here's Scott Spezia to pinch hit now. 2-2 two -two pitch. And he got him then in the ball game. So Pedro goes the distance in his debut with the Red Sox. But the big story is Mo Vaughn. A day after signing his big contract, Mo Vaughn goes five for six, drives in four, homers. What a day for him. But the offense was on fire today. 21 hits for the Red Sox on opening day. Look down here. Lewis with three hits. Bragg with three hits. Vaughn with five hits. Nomar with two hits. Larich with three hits. O'Leary with two hits. So you had one, two, three, four, five, six guys out of nine with multiple hit days. Everyone in the lineup had at least one hit. Um, so what of attack there by the A's. And of course, uh, Pedro had the one bad inning, got four runs in the inning, highlighted by a three run shot to Matt Stairs. Beyond that, he was pretty good. He, he struck out eight, only walked one, gave up seven hits in that inning. So not a bad day for Pedro. Didn't have his best stuff, but pretty good. Uh, for a debut in a Red Sox uniform as the Red Sox win 8-4. to four. Let's get out of this game here and we'll go ahead and and uh, simulate the day. And we'll check some standings and we'll sign off of here. So let's go ahead and do that. 8-4, to four, or sorry, 14-4 Red Sox. So um, tomorrow, the Red Sox will play the A's again. It's a night game, 10.05 p.m. out in the West Coast. Uh, that's the East Coast time, 7.05 on the West Coast time. And Brett Saberhagen will fa face Mike Oquist tomorrow in that one. So um, let's go ahead and look and see if I've got any uh, mail news here about me. Um, big story about Mo Vaughn right there. He makes the news. Uh, Ashby, Andy Ashby. Um, Tunnel kind of shutout right there. And Dustin Hermanson is done for the season. Um, el downward elbow ligament. So Dustin Hermanson, a good pitcher right there, uh, who's uh, in arbitration uh, coming up, will be gone for the rest of the season. So a bad break for the lay ex expos. So uh, there's the standings. Let me take a look right here. Red Sox. At 1-0, Yankees 1-0, Blue Jays 1-0, uh, home runs. Ken Griffey Jr. has already got two, so the Jim Tomey. The home runs are flying out. Um, National League, if we take a look, Tony Batista and Gary Sheffield with two each. Uh, I don't see McGuire um, up there or um, Sosa, so we'll watch that as things play out as well. Um, pitching, Randy Johnson's got 11 strikeouts. You see Clemens and Cohen there. And in National League, you got Maddox and Schilling and Shane Reynolds up there uh, pitching well. So that's it for now. Uh, the Red Sox Dynasty will come back. Um, the next time we'll be back, unless a trade happens or a, a Jim Lehrer's thing happens, we'll come back for an episode. But the next time you'll see us will be uh, when Pedro makes his debut in Fenway Park. And we're going to bring that game to you. Uh, when will that be? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, let's take a look at the schedule. We'll kind of figure out when that will be. 
Um, that would be the number two guy in the rotation, three guy in the rotation, four guy in the rotation, five guy in the rotation. Pager will start in Anaheim. Two, three. Uh, off day is is that uh, four, five. He could go on Sunday the 12th against the Mariners um, or Saturday the 11th against the Mariners. Um, we will have the home opener as well on Fenway. I think I might play that game as well. But he'll start in one of those things. He'll be against the Mariners. It'll be his third start. And we'll um, we'll broadcast that one for you. So until then, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Check out thepeskypoll.net. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter at the Pesky Poll. And of course, um, make any suggestions on the comments here. If you want to see a certain thing happen with the Red Sox team in 98, a certain trade I should make, uh, go ahead and speak up and uh, we'll talk about it. So that's it for now. Have a great night.